Hello, and welcome back. This is the first video in a while. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this, which is a railroad spike door handle. I've been looking for a tape measure for two minutes to find out that I've looked over it three times. Okay. Uh, it's going to be two inches wide. And it's going to be ten and uh, three quarters long. Okay. And we're going to be, this was originally a lawnmower blade. But I don't have any more lawnmower blades that are flat enough right now. So we're going to be using this, which is a, just a big piece of steel. And we're going to put our measurements on it. We're going to do two inches, just like that. And then we're going to mark right there. It's going to be a little bit hard. We're going to have to get a different square, I think, for down here. There's that mark that I just did. I don't think you could see it. Okay. I'm going to get a different square. Okay. And now we're going to measure down from right there. We're going to measure down ten and three quarters. Hopefully that'll work. <clears throat> and we're gonna adjust this guy so he'll fit right there. Okay, and now we're gonna go. I need to flip this around actually. Hmm. That's not gonna work. I should do it like this. Crap. There we go. Okay, I got it. We're gonna put it right there. And then we're gonna mark right there. Over to hmm, two inches, I guess. We will worry about that later. I just made a bit of a mistake. And No, we can't use that. We're going to use this. We're going to mark this a little bit deeper. And then we're going to take our square and put it right there. Put it right there. This probably isn't the best way of doing this. I'm going to do that. Hopefully that's straight. Let's see. Straight enough. This isn't the final size because this is this lip right here is going to cause some problems. So we're going to have to cut that off. Then we're going to cut this out. So let's just we set this guy on here like that. Line it up with our outside edge right there. And that is where we will cut it. Okay. This is not originally my idea. I found this on Google and uh, took the idea and thought it would be a great idea to make for fun. And me and my fiance made this. And. I'm going to go cut this out, and what you're going to need for this is a piece of 2 by uh, 10 and 3 quarters long piece of steel. It would be ideal if you had a piece of flat bar that was 2 inches wide, but I don't have that. So, you got to make do with what you have. 
and you're going to need where are they where are they two railroad spikes right here's one here's the other one just an old railroad spike and we're going to go ahead and mark them too and for them they're going to need to be let me measure this one because I don't remember An inch and three quarters. Look at that. Hmm. Who would have knew? And then we're gonna set this down there, maybe? I don't know. And then. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I should cut this first. Okay, we're gonna knock some of that off. Use a wire brush. Not coming. A uh, screwdriver. See it there? I think that's. I don't know. It's off. Okay, we're gonna take our square and we're gonna. Put it up there, and then we're gonna take our chalk and we're gonna mark it across there like that. And then same way right here on this side, and then maybe this side too. That way we get a nice square cut right there. That's what we're cutting. And we're gonna cut out this too. And then once I get this cut, I'll bring it back and we're gonna mark it to the length we need it. Okay, got these cut out. Got the spike, nothing changed with it. And I got the piece of steel cut out. That's pretty dang close if you ask me. Okay, I'm gonna clean these up in three, Two, one. Okay. <clears throat> I got all these cleaned up. I got them all cut out. And this is what we have. Two little pieces like this. One railroad spike. And one piece of steel. Okay. Now, we are going to Put these like that, and then this is going to go like that, and let me take this off of here, this is what it looks like, this is rough, okay, we're going to drill a hole here and a hole here, and then I'm going to get back to you. All right. We have holes drilled in here. We got it marked out where we want to put the little pieces like this. And then I've got this piece marked so I know where to line it up at. Should work out really good. Hopefully, I'm going to set it up here. And then I'm going to weld it with this beautiful machine over here. Okay, we got a hole there. A hole there, got it marked, got all this marked, so we can set these up like this, and like this, and put this one on top like that, and then we're going to weld it all together using this right here. This is my Chicago Electric Welder from Harbor Freight, and we're going to be doing a bit of a review slash DIY here, and my fiance got me this for Valentine's Day, it's a little bit early, but... That's it, and I think it's a great machine myself. Okay, I'm gonna weld this up, and then I'll show you that after. I'll show you in a second. Okay, I got it welded up here. That's how it looks. <clears throat> okay, time to paint it. We're gonna use some truck bed 
paint, uh, like bed liner, and it's textured, and that way it has a textured finish to it, like this one. Okay, I'll show you it whenever it's done painting. This is the handle, finished. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Now we have a pair. If you learned something, like, subscribe, comment. Anyways, see you next time. Bye.